My name is Muhit Mujahid. I am from Pakistan. I am currently a master's student at Nantang Hong Kong University. During my five years studying and living in China, I witnessed its rapid development and achievements. It astonished me. When it comes to the reform and opening up, economic growth, urban building, ecological and environmental protection, increasing people's income and their sense of happiness, and fighting against the COVID-19 pandemic, China has done a great job. Why can China accomplish all those things? Why can Chinese people come together in face of all the difficulties and accomplish things that can be acknowledged by all the world? In order to find the answer to this, we have to go to a place. Right now I am in Chingang Mountains, which is called the Cradle of Chinese Revolution. It was from here that the Communist Party of China started to lead the Chinese people to realize their destiny. Now the country is the second largest economy in the world. This was the mountain road where the Red Army soldiers shielded food during the Qingkang Shan period. This road is really steep and hard to walk, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's, it's really hard to walk on, I can feel it. After listening to the story of party leaders and the Red Army going through all kinds of hardship to provide food and supplies for the villagers, we can realize that the Communist Party of China has always worked tirelessly to serve its people. There are a lot of things that touch me about China. I realize that Chinese path is more uh, logical and more defined towards, centered on its people. It's centered on its people. It's for the people and by the people. So that's the biggest thing that impresses me about China. And I feel there's the most important reason that China can develop so fast and so well. You know, I have been to a lot of villages, like no matter which the village is, what, how remote the location is, even if there are a hundred people there, the government would work for them. The government would provide them the resources needed to develop an economy. It has really helped 100 million people to come out of poverty. I've been in China for the last five years and I have seen a lot of modern innovations here, you know, like high-speed train in the metro systems of every city. It's amazing. People are bearing the fruit of modernization, shared prosperity. Government is helping, like, through modernization of everything, of transport, you know, of education, everything. It's only helping people to achieve shared prosperity. At the time, of the outbreak. For me, I saw like it affected life a lot for a long period of time. Even now, it's affecting life a lot. But in China, they control it so well of so the zero COVID policy. We must thank it for it. I support China's COVID poli uh, zero policy, you know, from my heart. Government again worked hand in hand with the people. And it's again a policy for the people and by the people. Like it's really natural. It's humane, it's very humane to do it. People can come to China and see China, what it's like for its real form. China can just keep doing what, what they are doing right now and they are on the right path. Chinese people, they are really satisfied with the government. You know, the government is the people. I just said, you know, like uh, the one word that I would use to describe China in the last 10 years, you know, I would just say inspirational. You know, it's really inspirational, a loving society, and they have a really good future ahead of them. From the revolutionary times to the years after the founding of the People's Republic of China, to the reforming and opening up, the Communist Party of China has always worked hand in hand with the Chinese people. They attained success by relying on the Chinese people and sought happiness for the people. This is the key to its success. When I started to know more about China and the Communist Party of China, I chose the major of Marxist theory for my master's studies. My future plan is to, once I graduate from master's, I hope that I could continue and study PhD in the same major. I hope to spread the message of China to the whole world, specifically my country. <laughs>